What's up guys, I'm Chirag and welcome to part 2.6 of the tutorial series on AWS Cloud Formation. So guys, in this tutorial, we will go through the pseudo parameters in AWS Cloud Formation. So what exactly is pseudo parameters? So pseudo parameters are kind of the default parameters within AWS Cloud Formation, which is enabled by default. And we can use or reference those parameters using ref or the sub function as we used to refer parameters in part 2.1 of this tutorial series, right? So that is basically pseudo parameters. Now let's have a look at the list of pseudo parameters available within cloud formation. So here it is, right? So these are the list of parameters that we can use or leverage in AWS cloud formation. So it starts with the AWS account ID. So it basically returns account ID. I had given an example, right? So it will return whatever your account ID is. Then we have AWS notification ARN. So it basically returns the list of notification, Amazon resource names, that is ARNs, right? For the current stack. So while we configure the notification while creating the stack, at that point of time, this will come into effect, right? So we don't need to configure anything within the template, but this is something that we do while creating this tag, right? So that's basically notification ARNs. Then we have AWS no value. So it basically does not return any value, right? Then we have AWS partition. It returns the partition that the resource is in, for example, AWS. So basically for standard AWS regions, the partition is AWS as I have shown in the example and for resources and other partitions. So the partition is kind of AWS hyphen partition name. So for example, the partition for resources in the China Beijing, right? It's going to be the AWS hyphen CN, right? So that's AWS partition. Then we have AWS region. So it basically returns the region name that you are in. And then we have AWS stack ID. It's pretty straightforward. It returns the cloud formation stack ID. And then we have AWS stack name. Now again, it's straightforward. It returns the stack name that we have entered while creating the stack. And finally, we have AWS URL suffix. So it basically returns the suffix for a domain, right? So the suffix is typically Amazon AWS.com, but it might differ by region. So for example, the suffix for the China Beijing region is Amazon AWS.com.cn, right? So these are the list of pseudo parameters that are available within the AWS cloud formation. Now let's have a look at the practical implementation of this. So I have this template, so it's pretty straightforward uh, template, right? So I just wanted to show you what all those pseudo parameters written. So here on line number one, we have AWS template format version that is 2010.09.09. Then we have description uh, saying pseudo parameters. And then we have resources. And within resources, we are basically creating the S3 bucket, right? So on line number five, S3 bucket, it's the logical ID. Then on line number six, we are defining a type. So since we want to create the S3 bucket, it's AWS S3 bucket. And then we have properties and within property, we have only one property that is bucket name, right? So now here uh, we are using the join function. So what we want to join, so join function is followed by the square braces, right? So that is this two braces. And then uh, the first parameter is the by which sign we want to join the elements, right? So I want to join these two values that is reference of AWS tag name and reference of AWS region by hyphen. Now, for example, if I want to join those two parameters or those two values by comma, then I will replace this hyphen with comma. So that's basically join. And once you define the delimiter over here, there is another list we need to define inside that, which is going to be the list of values that we want to join, right? So here we have two values. So as I mentioned earlier that here we are using pseudo parameter that is AWS tag name and we can refer or use that pseudo parameter using reference that is exclamation ref function, right? So this will basically return the tag name that we will enter. And the another parameter is AWS region uh, that we are referencing using again the reference function. So it will basically return the current region. So in my case, it's going to be the USS one. So that will be the bucket name. So here we are setting the name of the bucket dynamically, 
right and then uh, we have output so i wanted to show you uh, what all the pseudo parameters written so that's where i have defined the output so that i can show you so i'm returning uh, these many values as a part of the output so first is account id so it's going to be the reference function followed by the pseudo parameter that is aws account id then we have notification arn so this is something that we are going to configure while we create this tag right so if we define the notification arn over here and we don't configure that while creating this tag then it's going to throw an exception before creating this tag right so that's notification arn so here uh, this aws notification arn pseudo parameter basically returns the list right so that's where we are using the select function so we are saying that select what we want to select select index of zero that is the very first value in the list which list we are referring to that is reference of aws notification arn right so that's where we are using select function and then we have partition so i think rest of the uh, things or the logical ids are pretty much self-explanatory right so here we are returning the partition then we have region stack id stack name and the url suffix now here uh, i have not defined one pseudo parameter that is AWS no value because it does not return any value. So that's where it will throw an exception if you try to define it as a part of the outputs, right? So that's where I have not defined AWS no value. So now uh, this is the template. So let's navigate to AWS management console and navigate to cloud formation service. Once you are there, click on these three lines from the top left corner, click on stacks and say create stack. Now here, uh, we have the template ready, right? So here we are going to select upload a template file. So I'm going to choose a file that is pseudo parameters in my case, say open. And I will say next, give a stack name. I will say pseudo stack, something like this, maybe pseudo stack, right? And I will say next. So here uh, in this tab three, we are going to configure the notification option. So you can create a new SNS topic or you can select any existing one, right? So I'm going to select the existing one. So I will say config topic, right? You can select multiple uh, SNS topic if you want, but we will move on with the one that is config hyphen topic. So this will basically send out a notification uh, to the registered email address or the mobile number regarding the updates of the cloud formation stack creation or deletion or any stack chain set that we are applying, right? So that's basically notification option. And once we are done with that, click on next and we are going to say create stack. So now the stack is being created. So now, as you can see, the stack creation is completed. Now, if we look at the resources, then here we have the S3 bucket. That is the one resource that we have defined under resources, right? And the name of the bucket is sudo hyphen stack. So that is basically the stack name followed by the region name that is USS one, right? So this is basically the name of the bucket that we have set dynamically, right? And then if we look at the outputs, then as you can see here, we have all the output values for the pseudo parameters that is account ID. So here we have the account ID notification ARN, right? Then we have partition. So it's AWS, right? So by default for standard regions, it's going to be the AWS, but for the partition uh, like uh, China region, right? So it's going to be the AWS hyphen CN. Then we have the region. This basically returns the current region that we are in. That is US H1 in my case. Then we have the stack ID then the stack name that we have entered and finally the URL suffix, right? So this basically returns the suffix for a domain or the URL. So again, it's a Amazon AWS.com for the standard regions, but it might differ by other region, right? So for example, China, Beijing, again, it's going to be the Amazon AWS.com.cn. So guys, this is all I wanted to cover in terms of the pseudo parameters, right? So. I might cover uh, AWS no value, right? Let me make sure it's no value, yeah. So I might cover AWS no value in some other tutorial, right? As and when we're required, right? So 
that's it for now guys and as usual if you want me to do tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time